Good morning, everyone. I'm Taylor. Welcome to my channel where I share my life and my travel experiences as an American expat in Malaysia. First, I want to thank everyone for subscribing to my newly formed YouTube channel. I'm really, really grateful. I'm glad to see that you seem to like my content. Since everyone seems to like the prices of things in Malaysia, I'm going to take you grocery shopping this morning. My grocery store is just downstairs, so it won't take long to get there. Come with me and I'll share it with you. Hey, aren't you coming? I've got my shopping bag, so let's go. Ooh, that was fast. Welcome to my beautiful grocery store. Look how gorgeous the produce is. I think I'm gonna go over here to the bakery section now though and have a look and see what they have that I might like for my breakfast. Mmm, everything looks so good. Let's see what I can find. Yes, we're still wearing masks here and I don't mind. I ended up with a pineapple stick and a scone. Look at the gorgeous fruits. Unfortunately, none of them are from Malaysia. Look at the eggs. I found it very interesting here that the eggs aren't refrigerated. I found out that's because if they're not washed, they can stay on the shelf. I think I'll get some vinegar today and some mayonnaise. I love Hellman's. And some tuna fish. I can always use a can of tuna fish. And how about some olive oil? I'm almost out of that. Oh, look at these cheeses. They're a little bit too expensive for me today, that's for sure. Here's some frozen meat, but I don't think I need that today. Oh, I'll get some cold cuts for sandwiches. That sounds good. Ooh, and maybe some M&Ms for later. Oh, and don't forget my darling Earl Grey. He needs some cat food. Oh, there's his brand, Sheba. That's what he likes. I guess I'll get some treats for him, too. I'm almost out of clothes detergent, so I better pick some of that up. Oh, but not that expensive liquid kind. Oh, and I think I need some wraps. Those are always good to have in the refrigerator for sandwiches. Oh, they're out of bread practically. That happens almost all the time. It's so weird here. All the white bread gone. I need some trash bags too. Oh, and yes, I think I need to get some cling wrap. And also some food storage bags for the freezer. Let's get those. Ooh, I can't, I can't resist chips. I need to get some chips. I need to get some chips. Maybe these cheese ones would be good. What do you think? Oh, let's see. Oh, I need coffee. That's right. I always get this Nescafe 3-in-1. It's delicious. I enjoy it so much. I'll get a yogurt, too. And some Special K. Oh, and some shredded cheese. Who doesn't love shredded cheese? And Laughing Cow. I remember that so much from my youth. I used to eat it a lot when I was in college. It's delicious. And Lay's potato chips are very popular here, too. I should pick up a pack of those, too. Oh, maybe some ruffles, too. Ruffles are really good with dip. Oh, I'm not going to pick up any of that haagen here. It's so expensive. This is the kind I usually buy. It's delicious and creamy. This is some generic kind I don't get, and this is a Nestle's brand that I think tastes very artificial. So this is everything I purchased today. I have the prices both in ringgit and U.S. dollars, so you can see the difference. I got all these pictures from the Walmart website, so some of them aren't exactly the same as the products that I picked up here in Malaysia, but it's close enough, I think. Now let's just find the cashier. Now I'm going to just check out and take everything back upstairs to the apartment and get the totals. I'm excited to find out how this is going to turn out. I hope you are too. Well, I'm back from the store. That was interesting to me. Now I'm going to give you the totals. And frankly, I was quite surprised. For the most part, I was trying to find exactly the same products here that I could buy in the United States so that the comparison could be really fair. In some cases, I wasn't able to do that, but for the most part, I was. 
I was comparing the prices from one of Malaysia's most expensive grocery stores and comparing it to the prices at Walmart, which is one of the US's cheapest grocery stores. I was really shocked at the results. I was expecting things to cost more here because it's all imported, but that wasn't the case. I'll give you the totals now. As always, I'm using a conversion rate of 4.1 ringgit to one US dollar. So you wanna know the totals? The totals in ringgit were 281 ringgit and 89 cents. That's $68.75. The total prices in the US was $101.39, or 415 ringgit and 69 cents. That means in the US, I would have paid $32.04 more, or 133 ringgit 30 cent more. To me, that's amazing. I'm so glad I did this because I often thought that I was paying more for things here. Now, things like haagen ice cream are considerably more, and a few other items like the really expensive cheeses. But for the most part, things are much cheaper here, and I'm shocked. Something I didn't purchase today, which is expensive here, are fresh fruits. Fruits seem to be way more expensive here, except for strawberries, which they grow in the Cameron Highlands, and they are delicious, let me tell you. And vegetables are fairly priced here because I do believe most of them are grown here in Malaysia. So I learned a lot today, and I'm not gonna complain about the prices of groceries in Malaysia anymore, even in the most expensive grocery store. Well, thanks for coming to the grocery store with me today for that quick trip. I hope it was informative. Like always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I have many more coming. Thanks for watching today. Talk to you later. Bye.